Okay, this blue barrel is the mineralization tank. I'm going to show you how to service the mineralization tank. First, I'm going to show you how it works. This is the fish tank. The fish tank water goes across through here and enters into this settlement tank. It allows the solids to fall to the bottom. The solids are in the bottom of the settlement tank. They gather at the cone at the bottom of there. And that pipe is plumbed here to here and up. So this is connected, that cone to this. What you want to do is get your poop, your waste solids into this tank for composting. For rapid composting, for mineralizing them into usable nutrients, okay? So every day, well, notice the water level of that tank and this tank are level just naturally by the way by the way water moves and it's it's level with the output of the of the tank okay so on on a regular day you'll come in here and you've got these air lines right here there's four of these one two three Four, all four of these airlines are bubbling these solids, turning them. You can see here on the top, the solids are moving because I just turned the pump off. And we want those solids to stop moving. We want them all to fall down to the bottom. So when you come in here in the morning, this is going to be bubbling, moving, churning the solids, churn, churn, churn. And you're gonna pull out your airlines. You don't have to turn off the pump. I did for the video. But I actually like to leave the pump on so the stones have a chance to kind of clear themselves of any particles because the air will continue to pump and blow junk out of the pores of the lines. Okay, so you pull out all those airlines and you let those solids fall. Right now, they're falling as you can see. You can see them kind of suspended, actually. And um, they will be down. And you're waiting for them to fall below this level here. So the solids right now are right about here. And them all will be at least below this level because we're going to open this valve up to drain this top of the water down and out into the system. That's a nutrient-rich system. It's the fish waste that has been composted, mineralized, into a, a more usable form for the plant. Now this, uh, these air stones require some, some service, some maintenance. This is a brand new one. I keep these up here in the goldfish box, um, but wherever you need to keep them is fine. Check this one out. This is, I just replaced this one. So this one is worn down to the point where uh, that that interior hole showed okay uh, it's because they hang down and uh, they hang down on the bottom and they kind of bang down around inside the tank and they're cheap made in china stuff so so they need to be replaced every so often so make sure that your air stones are in good condition this one you can see is um it's got some wear on it but it, it's okay i mean this has probably been going for three months like that so it's not a real commonly maintenance thing. So I'm going to wait, let those solids fall, and we'll come back. Okay, so check it out. The solids have drained. Uh, you don't see any on top. It's been, oh, 30, 45 minutes. And I'm going to open this valve. I'm going to make sure this valve is shut. Because I don't want to drain the water and, and allow more water to come in. I just want to open this one. And it's going to allow this water, this nutrient-rich water to drain. And this pipe goes across over to here into this pipe. And it goes on into the system. So, I'm going to open this up here. And it's draining. Draining, draining, draining. We're going to let that... Empty all the way down. It's, it's entering in over here. 
enters right here at the end of this grow bed, okay? It's almost there, you can see that pipe showing. See that one showing. So water's drained. I got it shut. It's down to the level of these pipes here. And so um, that is, that's good to go. Now we're gonna take the air stones, return them back to the tank right there and I'm going to turn this air pump back on I've got it off for the video noise I think it's same as the pump so now it's churning those solids again okay now you can make sure this is shut and we're going to open this one up and because the water level is higher here than here the water will push the solids down out and into here okay so i'm going to open this valve while the camera is down here Nice, juicy, rich, solid water. It's coming over. And this tank will start draining. So we're gonna leave this open until this one levels with this one. I've got this fish tank off and that right now for noise, but I'll turn it back on so it can continue to fill this to get these to the right height, which would be the height of that output right there. Turn on the pump. Start filling the tank again. Fish tank so it will drain over to the mineralization tank. I've got this on here because I uh, wanted to filter out some of that junk going through because I sweeped all the walls of this tank. And um, I uh, stirred it all up. So some solids will exit through there. Not a big deal. You know, the rock will catch it and it'll filter it and it'll be fine. So um, anyhow, they're about level right now, but this is a little low. So uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to call it good. Because of where the water, you can see where the water level, you know, kind of is normally maybe. And, or at least where the bubbles reach to. But, once it's full, turn this off. Okay. Now it's a closed system, right? Closed there, closed here. Only water in here. It's not circulating. And, um, this little, this little thing here. Busted laundry cup, laundry soap. I'm gonna use this to get some molasses. Take this, I'm gonna scoop it, and I usually do this with two hands, so I'm gonna try to do this with one, not spill it everywhere. Get it underneath my hand, and so I'm just putting this in like this, and it's hard with one hand here. I take this. I only want this to, I want this level to be about, I'm sorry, right here. I want this to be about right here, just beneath the water. And then I'll put it right here and just kind of wrap that a bit. That's good, so that molasses can just kind of fall off and um, uh, fall into there. And that molasses feeds the bacterial action. It's got raw, natural, Nutrients in it is a byproduct from sugarcane, completely unprocessed. I guess heat. It's processed with some heat. But um and then I go over here and the fish are crazy. I put the molasses right here in the fish tank. 
to rinse my hand. And the fish actually eat it. If it's in a big form or a chunk, it will eat it. All right, so that system is, that's the mineralization tank. And um, tomorrow, you know, give it one day. You can let it go over the weekend if you need to, no big deal. Give it a day, let it bubble and do its thing in there. And tomorrow, you come in here and do exactly what I showed you at first. Take the air pumps or the air stones out let all those solids settle open this up let that good nutrient rich water drain into the system shut it refill air stones molasses another day eventually uh you may have to get the solids out of the bottom i've had to do it once in like six months maybe and so um just something to keep in mind there may come a time where the solids at the bottom don't get digested enough and they have to be removed and I've just used a hose to siphon them out so that is the mineralization tank